so I'm going to show you two dishes with the same ingredients and only they are two different dishes so here I have half a packet of pasta wheat I'm going to boil it a normal boil with a tablespoon of um, oil okay so I'm going to boil this with a little salt we will adjust the salt later so my pasta is cooked I'm going to remove it out and cool it on a plate okay I'm going to just cool this pasta you can run it through water cold water but if you open it out like this it won't stick and you have also put a tablespoon of uh, oil so it will not stick it will be nice and separated so today I'm going to show you the base for two different dishes this base you can use it for um, making pasta and you can also make it use it to make cutlets so now I'm going to show you two different uh, the basic this is the white sauce so I have got about two tablespoons of butter to that I'm going to before the butter starts melting and I'm going to add a lot of garlic I love garlic so the garlic depends on you you can add four to five cloves more than that it depends on you okay so as the as the butter as the garlic is frying oh you know there is a lovely aroma when you fry garlic in butter that's i can eat my chapati with this aroma this is such a lovely aroma so i will just let it fry not brown just fry to that I will add about two tablespoons of chopped green chilies. Fry that too. Okay, so my green chilies are also getting fried. To that I will also add, I have chopped 4 onions, this size, 4 onions I have chopped, finely chopped 4 onions. As I said, this is the base for two dishes. Okay, so you have to adjust and see because there is not much ingredients, and you can, if one ingredient is a little more and one ingredient is a little less, it won't make much of a difference. So, I'm going to fry this in that two tablespoons of butter. If you want you can add a little more butter but I think it's sufficient now for the moment I will just let this onions get transulent so I will fry it for another two minutes so here my is nearly become transulent so as I said this there is no specific measurement for ingredients if you put more onion it's okay if you put more green chilies it will become spicy if you put more garlic it's good for your health if you put more salt be careful and anything there is chicken and anything in this you can substitute chicken for paneer so paneer you will add right at the last okay not in in the beginning you will add in in the end i will tell you when so here I have one plate of boiled chicken 
as I told you these are this is two dishes for two dishes I am using so I will put this boiled chicken at this time and I will fry it along with this chicken my chicken is boiled with little pepper and salt so I will just fry for a little while just let it mix to that I will add two medium sized carrots chopped okay you can hear the hissing of the sound of the all the ingredients getting fried at this time you can also add taste the salt the pepper powder if you need more taste and add it in another pan we'll make the white sauce so here is two tablespoons of butter to that I will add two heaped spoons of refined flour that is maida and I will give it a quick stir so that the maida is nicely fried in the butter I have to hold the pan so I will just peel back so you have to just keep on trying to bake these lumps and let it get fried get cooked. To this I am going to add 2 tablespoons of water so that I can further cook this mega paste. I missed, I don't know, I think I put pause and then I put end video. So to that mega paste I put water and I blended it a little more and then to that I added this cup of milk this mug of milk full cup of milk and I broke all the lumps that were there I just broke all the lumps and now I'm just waiting for my sauce to thicken up so my sauce will start getting thickened up you can make this with paneer you will add the paneer at the end you can also make this with mushrooms. Mushrooms will be fried just as you fried the chicken. You can use more vegetables like capsicum, green peas, French beans, whatever is there. As I said, this is home cooking for me. So I use whatever vegetables are in the house. So today I only have carrot, so fine, it's okay. Chicken and everything is cooked. As I said, this amount is for two dishes. So I'm going to separate, I'm going to add coriander leaves to this and I'm going to separate it. I'm going to divide this, so I'm going to remove a little bit. my dad dish needs more so for this it is enough for this particular dish I'm making pasta so my pasta sauce has thickened up and to that I'm going to add this to my chicken what I have left out for the pasta So I added the white sauce to the pasta, to the chicken onion mixture and now I'm going to add a cup of water. You can add 
only milk if you want but it gets too rich so I'm adding a little bit of water to get it to this creamy consistency as I said before there is no hard and fast measurements or quantity of any ingredients here you can put boiled eggs you can put paneer you can put mushrooms you can put only vegetables it's your choice but the main process will remain the same so I'm going to add the pasta that I had boiled and left aside you can see they are just easily this was the remaining pasta from last time so here it is into another dish so I will just mix this and get back so you can see I mixed my pasta to that now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of pasta seasoning if you don't have pasta seasoning it's no problem you can just put pepper and salt a little bit of chili flakes little crushed jeera that's the other option so I'm going to mix this but I feel my pasta is a little bit dry so I'm going to add half a cup of water and quarter cup of milk and I'm going to let this pasta let the boiled pasta absorb all the flavors so the pasta has simmered down the sauce has become thicker and this is perfect to this I will add I have just broken I don't have cube cheese so I just broken two sliced cheese and I will just give it a mix and the pasta is ready